Good morning, walkers. Today we are back in Livingston, Montana. I'll let this gentleman pass. Um, it is the first day of March, 2019, and we have just been hammered for the last week with snow. We've gotten a couple feet. Pretty unusual for here because it usually just blows away. We're at the foot of the mountains. Um, so we did a walk this summer, which I'll put a card up in the upper uh, left, upper right hand part of the screen uh, to the one we did this summer. Uh, we got a better camera this time, though heavier. And we're just gonna walk around and let you see what it's like uh, on a snowy, well, it's snowy, but it's not snowing. Um, this is downtown. You can see some train cars maybe down there. Farm Girl Pizza has amazing pastries. Uh, and I think we'll head in this way towards the mountains. They've actually come in with front end loaders and cleared a lot of the snow from downtown. It's a pretty dog-friendly place, as you can see. It has been rarely above one or two degrees Fahrenheit in the last week, and it's now up to 20, so it feels pretty warm. And the sun is nice. Nice little treat. Feel that later. That that is what happens when you slip on an icy sidewalk. Save the camera. My back is still working. Yikes. Now I think this summer, this past summer, we went from the hill behind town, behind us, all the way down here and then what I would call southwest uh, to the river and through that neighborhood. I think what we'll do is we'll go uh, northeast or the east side of town today.
Oops, sorry. I'm using gloves. I've got thick gloves on, so I sometimes hit the controls wrong when I'm not saving myself from falling on the cement. And right about up here is where the snow clearing stops. And then it's up to individuals. You can see how deep the snow is in the roads. <clears throat> and since they don't plow, it just gets turns into sand and grit and just doesn't actually pack out because it's been so cold. Um, so <laughs> what we and a lot of other people have been doing to get around town is just put on some skis and cross-country ski around. Hey, pup. Hi. As you can see, people have put varying amounts of effort into clearing their sidewalks. For a while, it was just, it was almost impossible to keep up. an alleyway. You can see you need to have a high clearance vehicle to get through there. Even the main roads are uh, <laughs> pretty tough without high clearance, I guess. This walk's going to be a little bit shorter because uh, I've got some work to do. But I wanted to show you around this wonderful little town. Usually in the winter, it's howling wind, which blows all the snow away. But it's been pretty cold. It's supposed to get down to 20 below or 15 below tomorrow night. Um, and calm, fairly calm. So, at least there's that. This town, if you'll recall, is about 7,000 people. It's kind of a railroad town, although the new bigger employer is printing for less and then tourism. And it's uh, got a big art scene, a lot of writers and artists. Uh, Jim Harrison lived here, uh, Max Hjortsberg, uh, now I'm trying to blank, um, movie stars down in the valley in the area. Uh, but really, it's just a lot of nice people. Very friendly, very welcoming, great community.
go up this road. Fairly navigable. Folks are going to have a job getting that car out. <clears throat> Up here on the left, you'll see a, a raft. Since we're right next to the Yellowstone River, we do a lot of rafting, not whitewater rafting so much as just floating the river. And uh, they keep it inflated because it's kind of the best way to store it over the winter. Uh, keep it from getting any creases in it. Keep the sun off of it and it'll be fine. Right here we have the Shane Center, local art center, a little restaurant in there, yoga studios, some office space, amazing theater, the Shane Lalani Center for the Arts. Our kids do a homeschool play and they do uh, auditions rehearsals and then put on the play all in a week and it's pretty amazing they do a great job Mail carriers have been out in all this weather. We haven't had any issues with the mail. They've been troopers. They did close the school one day for the first time in, I think, 30 years. Um, so the kids were stoked about that, playing in the snow. All right, up here we're gonna come to the big red door. It is in the city county building, there's a courthouse, sheriff's department, police department, and also the Livingston Fire and Rescue on the other side, which we'll take a look at. Hi. Hi there. Good, thanks. As promised, there's the fire and rescue center. City county complex.
Hi there. <clears throat> this is uh, Kenyan Noble area. Area hardware and lumber shop here in Bozeman. Not great. A few other places. a fun community pumpkin carving contest every Halloween. <clears throat> you can see the tanker cars, the railroad there. Got a ton of those coming through here, that and coal and airplane bodies. Headed out to Seattle. snow they piled up there for lack of a better place to put it. Not too bad here. Wind's coming up. Straight back there up on that ridge line is where we started it in the summer.
see they piled the snow up here in the middle of the road. The intention of clearing it out eventually. The front end loaders. on main here and a couple things to point out up here on the left right past Bob's outdoor is Mustang catering you can get some great locally made food locally sourced food in there Dan and uh, his wife Carol I think so I'm not blanking on that uh, great food and then Chad's Coffee on the left here. Great local flavor. Great guy. On that. And we're back at Calendar. And I think that's where we're going to end it. Thanks for coming on this little jaunt. I'll try to get some more stuff up. But like I said, uh, I'm not traveling right now, so it's hard to find, find new places to film. So, check back regularly and I'll hopefully post something soon. Thanks. Hi right there.